whirlwind day in South Florida for the interim first lady of Venezuela, Juan Guaido's wife, making multiple appearances around town. Fabiana Rosales is here shedding light on the ongoing crisis in her country. <laughs> Fabiana Rosales was all smiles as she met local elected officials at Miami-Dade County Hall. But when everyone sat down for a roundtable discussion about the crisis in Venezuela, the tone turned serious as the wife of interim president Juan Guaido described living conditions under the regime of Nicolas Maduro, who continues holding on to power despite pressure from the U.S. and 50 other countries to step down. With severe shortages of food and medicine, Rosales says Venezuelan children are suffering the most. Estar acá en, en Miami. Being here in Miami as a representative of all the mothers in Venezuela, all I want to ask in their name is for the massacre of our children to stop. Only 26, Rosales has emerged as a potent force in Venezuela's opposition to the Maduro regime. I always talk about humanity because I feel the world has lost many values that are important to humanity. We want to restore those values in Venezuela. Rosales met earlier this week at the White House with President Trump. She also met separately with Vice President Pence and top White House advisors. At County Hall, she was given a key to the county for Mayor Carlos Jimenez, who said he understands the suffering of the Venezuelan people. I'm very familiar with the plight of the Venezuelan people. I was a Cuban born, born in Cuba. I came here when I was six, so I understand what uh, totalitarianism is, what a dictatorship is, what socialism means. The humanitarian crisis is giving us more strength to keep going. I want to thank the mayor and his office for all the support they have offered us. Now, within the past hour, Rosales met with Miami Mayor Francis Suarez. He gave her the key to the city of Miami. And there was some unexpected excitement at the event. Rosales got a call from her husband. The two FaceTimed briefly, and the meeting continued. While her husband is recognized as interim president of Venezuela by the U.S. and 50 other countries, Juan Guaido has been barred from holding office for 15 years by the Maduro government.